So let's take a look at the following example that deals with determining what the reaction mechanism is as well as what the product is in these two reactions. So each one of these reactions is basically a deals all the reaction. So let's begin with reaction A. So we have our 1,3-diene reacting with our alkene to form some type of product. Now we are under low temperature conditions so that means kinetics will be favored and the reaction that has the lower transition energy, the lower activation energy will proceed. So basically this means that our endo product will be favored. So let's begin with determining our reaction mechanism. So basically in the first step of our reaction, which is a single concerted step, we have this pi bond on this alkene basically reacting with this carbon forming a single sigma bond. This displaces the pi bond and places it onto here and this makes this pi bond go into this carbon and form another single bond. So this is our uh, deals all the reaction. So basically the first product that is formed is the endo product and the endo is formed because we have low temperature conditions and that means we do not uh, we do not have enough energy to overcome the higher activation barrier for the exo product. So we form our endo which looks something like this. So we have this cyclic group here as shown. This is our endo because it points towards and not away from our pi bond here. Now the question is, is this the final product of our reaction? Well, it depends. If we have another one of these molecules, another one of these 1,3 dienes in the presence of this molecule, notice we have this pi bond here. And this pi bond can basically add as a dianophile reacting with this other 1,3 uh, diene. And the way that that happens is as shown right here. So we basically have this molecule here and well actually this molecule should be or should be oriented in the other way so we have this reaction taking place so basically we have this pi bond attacking this this is being displaced here and this is attacking this and so our reaction or our final product looks something like this. So we have our cyclic group here. Um, this is our, these are our oxygens. We have a pi bond here. And basically we have the formation of this group. So we have our so it looks something like this and then we have our pi bond at the end that is formed here. So we have this molecule that is formed uh, as long as we have enough of this 1,3 diene in our mixture. So this is our final product. Now let's examine the second reaction, reaction B. So this is under a high temperature condition and that basically implies that our exo product will form because we're going to have enough energy to overcome the higher activation energy for the exo product formation as composed to the endo product. So, Basically, this is once again our 1,3-diene that reacts with our dianophile and our reaction mechanism looks something like this. So basically, this pi bond here attacks this uh, carbon here, displacing this pi bond, and this 
attacks this. And so because we have high temperature, this R group will point away from our pi bond and that means our exo product will form. So the product will look something like this. So we have our cyclic ring, we have our closure here and this R group will point away and so we have our exo product that is formed because we have enough energy. So, and we have a pi bond here as well. So basically, these are our two products in these two reactions. And notice that we go from this endo to this final product as long as we have enough of this in our mixture. And that's because when this endo product is formed, it actually has this second pi bond that was shown here that can also undergo a second deals older reaction forming yet another ring structure as shown in this diagram.